Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Hey, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Half Life One. Welcome back. In fact, uh, so we took a short break and both got really sad. And now we're gonna play more Half Life. Nothing like the holidays to make you feel just kind of sad. Yes. Um, for those of you who keep a close eye on my video continuity, I'm also recording this on 4th of July. And as I mentioned earlier, I was waiting for my friends to uh, do holiday things with me, but uh, all of them have not happened. Uh, luckily, Half-Life is always there for me. Also, my wife. Yeah, I try to be, even if I am sad. But <laughs> even if I can't be there for you, I'm always there for you in moral support. And in spirit. I'm like a funky little ghost behind your shoulder. Jesus. Do you remember what we did last time, dear? Well enough. Um, we caused a resonance cascade. Mm -hmm. Aliens started popping off like nuts. The nuts pop? If you cook them right. I would say they would pop off like kernels. That's fair. They have been popping off like kernels. Uh, and that came to a head with the best set piece in Half-Life 1. Those things called the tentacles. And you can actually see the remnants of them here in this pool. I always kind of wondered what alien flesh would, would taste like. I, I think, like, this would taste like burnt spinach. I... I don't... I don't know, like... I guess they would kind of taste like... Like a predator animal, which we know would not taste very good because that's a lot of lean muscle. Yeah. Do you see what we've gotten, by the way? A pistol. A magnum, specifically. Oh, nice. Because this is the um, normal pistol. And then here's our magnum. And yes, they work like the Resident Evil magnum. In that it's a ludicrously overpowered handgun that's, you know, just as... Just uh, the same size as your normal pistol, but thousands of times stronger. Alfred, my sweet friend. Yes. I wanted to say I watched today... Um a movie called Tomorrow's War with Chris Pratt. Ah. Why do you say Have his you name like it? that? He's not a he's not a cooked rodent, dear. Um, I have trouble with um <laughs> consonants. You have no and, con and consonants that. confidence? I have no consonants com that um Go on. Anyway, it is a sci-fi, and I think it is a pretty entertaining movie. It's nothing to write a home about. There's a parts that are really stupid, but the CGI in it is pretty damn good. And I don't often say that about CGI, because I love practical effects. It is well documented that you adore them. But I will have to say, the CGI in this movie is pretty damn good. The aliens look fantastic. However, one thing bothered me in the movie. Yes. Well, multiple things. But there was one thing in particular that bothered me. When they ran out of machine gun ammo, which happened at least four times in this movie. <laughs> okay. They switched to their pistol. Yeah. And it held the, the alien back about as good as the machine gun did. Yeah, why don't you just equip your guys with those things? And like your pistol in a in in I assume in any situation is going to be like your last resort. Yeah, it's a hold that was stupid. It's a holdout weapon. It's not meant to be your like big go-to whammy. It's and it's an emergency. Have, what they could have done to fix this is just, you know, bring out the magnum, you know? Yeah. People see a revolver and they're like, oh, it must be more powerful than a normal pistol. They just they just believe that it is. And I don't know enough about guns to dispute that, so 
That's fine. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, like... Are, are revolvers more powerful? Are, are revolvers magnums? I don't know. I just know that in Resident Evil 4, when I got the magnum, I went, woo! And, you know, then never used any of my uh, ammo because I was too afraid and saved it for the next big thing, and then the next big thing came, and... Suddenly, I beat the game, riding off into the sunset, and I had all my magnum ammo. Such is the nature of mankind. I love this little log flume they've got going on here. I do see it. Um, Man, you really have to radioact some shit to make it that green. Yeah. Do you know why uh, the Radium Girls died? I learned about this recently. Uh, they licked uh, brushes well, when... Not that. Like, were... Do you know what Radium actually does to you? It causes decay of all of your cells. I can redo that. Hold on. Specifically, your body can't tell the difference between Radium and Calcium. Oh, fuck. So, your your body, your cells are like, oh, calcium? Word. I'm gonna bring that straight to your bones. And then your bones fucking dissolve because it's radium. Hey, dog. And, like, if your body, like, you would also have a harder time fighting off infections and shit and, like, having your blood clot because, like... Like, calcium is just so much shit in your body, including, like, helping the, the fucking, um, you know, compliment cascade and shit. I was probably supposed to land on that, huh? Yeah, like, no wonder radium fucks you up but good. I wonder if it tasted good. All right, I did it prop. I did it properly that time. You're supposed to land on the table and have the legs all splay out and squish the head crab that's underneath it. Poor ladies, did they ever get reparations? I um, mean, I think most some of them, of them died. Yeah, I think what happened is that they all got super cancer and died pretty quick. Super cancer. I don't even know if what can like what what happened to them constitutes cancer. I think they just fucking like necrotized. <laughs> Uh, necrotizing is technically different, but one of the doctors was able to just, like, pick up and pull a woman's jaw off of her face. Like, with his hands. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's pretty fucking gnarly. So, yeah, we, we're getting new weapons here. So, we've got the, we've got a magnum. It's, it's very much a Resident Evil-style magnum in that it's just, this is your boss killer. And we've also got, uh, these things, strip mines. Laser trip mines. So, Sarah, you, you play video games. I partake. What should you be wary of if the game gives you a nice new shiny weapon to play with? Big boy. Big boy. You ready for the biggest of boys? I'm ready for the biggest of boys, baby. Power up. Hey, the army's shooting somebody, and it's not working. I wonder why. Look Maybe at this fucking real. thing. He has a wonderful color palette. Uh-huh. So... He kills you real good. I was gonna say Doom could never as a joke, but, like, I can't even do Doom like that, you know? Yeah. The thing about Doom is that Doom could never for a very specific reason. Doom guy would see that and say, yup, and then kill it, no problem. Right. Oh, Jesus. He's cooking my buns. Sorry, I'm trying to get That's through okay, this without baby. losing as much health. You have a lot of buns to cook. Yeah, 206 at least. Actually, a few more now. He walked into the beam of fire and got cooked. Oh. 
So yeah, that thing's called the Gargantuan. It's called that because it's big and scary. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me. We've missed two uh, G-Man encounters. Because you know how you can oh. see the G-Man all over this place? I know where the G-Man currently. Uh, so we've missed two sightings of him. Uh... Earlier, he can just walk by a thing that you're standing underneath. Uh, and in the very, very beginning, when you're on the train car, he'll actually... He's on another train. Um, oh, man. He's on... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to focus on the picture. He's on another one of the trains, and he, uh, just adjusts his tie while looking at you ominously. So yeah. From that's the beginning, you can see G-Man all over the is, shop. That is how a metrosexual man threatens you. <laughs> now that is a word I haven't heard in a very long time. <laughs> I think it's a good name for, like... You know, uh, I don't know, like those type of people. I don't know if those type of people exist anymore, but it's like just like the businessman that is, he is not gay, but he's so like narcissistic that like his appearance is everything to him. Yeah. You know, you can see that the aliens are starting to get a taste for the, uh, for the Marines as well. These guys are canonically referred to as the Heiku, or HDCU. I don't exactly remember what that stands for. Boys, they taste like small towns and, and manipulation. Jesus. Am I on this call with Aaron? <laughs> so yeah, um... G-Man's all over the shop. G-Man's one of those things where it's like, um... He's this fucking bouncing ball you follow, you know? <laughs> yeah, that is. Hoops. What? Wait, what did you say? I asked if you saw what I had picked up there. No, I thought you said, do you know who that is? Uh, my my apologies. I who do you um, think I was referring to? I thought you were seeing something I didn't. But I am uh, I'm very like out of it. Yeah, me too. But a little bit. I still want to have a good time and play video games and. Yeah. Being dumb's no reason we shouldn't enjoy the greatest video game of 98. Yeah. Besides, does this mean we're more, more authentic? Yeah, I think so. I was hoping it would show that we're authentic and not lazy, you know? <laughs> I don't care about my image on the internet. That's why I uploaded all those clips of me moaning like I'm getting fucked. No, maybe you do care, but, like, only about a very specific image. If you know, you know. Jesus. I really want one of these in my house. We can fend off of our- fend off our cats. Oh my god, do you know what they called the the case about the Radium Girls? Are you reading about the Radium Girls is idly now? I am. It's called The Case of the Five Women Doomed to Die. Jesus. Who it's came a up little with that name? Bit of, What is it for? It's it's for the lawsuit. It was the in 1928. The official lawsuit? 
yes, it's, um, oh, maybe not the lawsuit. It looks like it says, just says the case. And it says each woman was given $10,000. This is 1928, so that's some good pocket change. Yeah, I mean, that's, maybe that's, not. Uh, that's pretty substantial for the time. I mean, maybe not for, like, you know, your, your life. Your face off. But, like, $10,000 plus $600 a year for as long as they continue to suffer from radium. So, perpetuity. Yeah. We should watch the movie. Apparently, there's a movie. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, is there? A, I feel like that would be a really cool, like, fighting game character, like Radium Girl. <laughs> And she, like, just takes her jaw off and chucks it at you. Jesus, Sarah. That's a little extreme. What, too soon? I guess, I guess corporations are still extorting people and taking advantage of, of everyone, so maybe it is too soon. I mean, I don't know, honestly. I don't know what constitutes too soon with that sort of thing. Because, like, in one of the horror stories I wrote, um, one of the ones I actually read for the channel, Asher's Journal, um, haha, -ha, guy walked into his own mind. Uh, radiation features heavily. I don't think I ever got to that point in the actual thing. Why'd you stop, kid? Stop what? Asher's Journal. Uh, I got busy with other things. That's what I really gotta go back to, though. I, I have to be in such a specific headspace to write it, though. I hope I'm not accidentally ASMRing you or something? grossing. Yeah, grossing you out or anything. Someone. Ignore that, please. I just turn on my flashlight at those guys like it would do something. <laughs> Actually, it should. Have you ever worn night vision goggles and then someone turn on a flashlight? No, but that sounds awful. I can oh, kind of imagine. It's super painful. It's like a, it's like a, like, easy one button way to just annihilate people who have uh, ga uh, gas masks with night vision on. I know you don't have too much, um experience with a microscope or maybe you do i don't know about your extended childhood but my extended was... childhood yeah i know part of your childhood but like the extensive version no well for reference i own an electric microscope well were you ever trying to like look at something and you were trying to turn the light down like a lot so you turned it up a lot or you were just too heavy handed and oh yeah and you just flash yourself. yourself oh my god the worst yeah so these trip mines let me see if I can still do this so you set them on the wall like that and they power up. And if I remember right, you can... Yep, you can. You can stand on top of them, you see? Mm-hmm. And, and you can walk past them in this manner. And what that means is, because you can stack shit on the walls, you can actually um, put things on the walls and then climb to areas you're not supposed to go to. Ooh, do you want to demonstrate? No! <laughs> Poochie, no! Poochie, woof, woof, no! Um, I don't know any of the, uh, I don't know any of the skips. 
But yeah, there uh, were. You're an honest man. You want an honest playthrough? Yeah. No tricks, no doodads. Uh, if I remember any, I'll show you. There's also this one thing that is just goddamn hilarious. There's this door Alfred, that is. What's up? Q, Q Alfred trying to play with one hand and look up, look up the skips with another. I've had to do that for some LPs. You're very talented. Like you could do it and like convince people you're not. Not for this game. This game requires my doom fingers. It is a boomer shooter, so. But sorry, go on. Um, there's this one skip late in the game. Or not a skip, it's a glitch. So, there's a door that is coded backwards, right? Mm -hmm. Typically, when you get stuck in a door, uh, you lose damage because you're getting a door slammed on your foot or whatever, right? You lose damage? So does that mean you gain health? Or Sorry, are you, you lose health. You, you gain damage, understood. Yes. And there's it's a door. Like that Morrowind thing. Yeah, there's a door late in the game that. Oh god, forgot about these leeches. There's a door late in the game that's coded backwards, and uh, it instead heals you. And so a real part of the Half-Life One speed run is standing in that door for a couple of minutes. And just like juicing yourself up until you have like 16,000 health and then just plowing through the rest of the game like that. Ooh. So I have no idea why there are leeches in the Black Mesa sewers. I'll be honest, I'm from Arizona. Can't tell you any, you know, native uh, leeches found in there. You ever gotten leeches on you? Never. Not as bad as you would think. Still bad. Well, I imagine that, like, it's just like a big mosquito, you know? I think it creeps you out more to look at them. They don't really hurt particularly, but, like, it's the fear that, like, oh, there is a parasite on me, you know? Yeah. Jesus. Luckily, this is how fans work. All right, power generator. Oop. The power line. I'm pretty sure that that's not supposed to happen, right? Hey, you want to know a fun little fact about leeches? <laughs> Are you Googling about those now, or...? Go on. Um, they have, like, an anticoagulant in them. Yeah. It's so they can keep sucking. Let's <clears throat> not talk about that. Uh, a lot of, um... Carnivor what's the specific word for it? There's a specific word for what I'm looking for. Hema hemo Something Latin word blood. Hemovirus? Maybe. Anyway, a lot of uh, things that drink or eat blood that's not right. Uh will What happened? Oh, I know what happened. I hit my head. Uh, have an anticoagulant that is often in their spit. Um, vampire bats do as well. I think vampire bats are one of the largest uh, blood-sucking creatures. You think they would get a hold of someone? What? Like, do they only do they only suck the blood of like horses and animals and stuff? Or? Yeah. Hmm. Spooky. 
Whoa! Oh, he dropped a grenade on the floor. Dick. Well, I guess this is how we're doing the next couple of challenges. Do you cut the dead air out of these playthroughs? No. Office, offense. Authenticness at its best. Authenticity? Thank you. Is there a way to see the dead air? Um, you can watch the waveform. Oh. I, I feel like that wouldn't do anything because I always have this like anxious hum that comes from me. Not like a. Not like from my mouth or anything. It's just kind of like radiates off of my entire body. An emanation. Correct. Thank you. Oh yeah, you, you asked believe? last time if uh, there's infighting in this game, like Doom. Yes. And I said yes, but something I forgot to mention is that there are actually some enemies that prefer to infight rather than attack you. My bros. Yeah, bull squids actually prefer to go hunting for uh, food more than they like fighting, and their food is head crabs. Ah. So yeah, bull squids will go after uh, crabbies first. Damn it. Train that bad boy in a leash. Yeah, shout out to the Cthulhu, to Cthulhu, fuck, Cthulhu dog. Truly, truly the last of the OGs. I don't think he comes back ever, uh, besides in the expansion for this game. Which sucks, because, like, what a great design. Hey, you see what we got here, by the way? Got a door that only opens from one side. Bloodborne. I'm never gonna make it. You better go on without me. Was going to anyway. There he is. Everyone's favorite, Gehemoth. You know the word starts with a B, right? Yeah. I was trying to mix Goliath and Behemoth, but not on purpose. Go, go, go! This is bad, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, bad. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe I gotta switch it. Please stop shooting me, sir. I turned the power on, didn't I? For a moment. Excuse me, sir. I only have 38 health. Please. You're hurting me. Oh, word. Eee. Luckily, his big fat body can't fit into these tiny little areas. Ha ha. <laughs> I feel so powerful in video games when I am the small thing and the big thing can't fit into the small thing. <laughs> but enough about my sex life. <laughs>
someone spoke that way about sex, I would immediately assume they have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, yes. Sex, I have heard of it. What am I doing wrong here? Track power's off. Hmm. Shoot it. Loud and clear, sir. Maybe I actually didn't turn on the things that I needed to turn on. Let me just reload this and do it from here then, eh? Yep. Haha. <laughs> See, this is one thing that I almost hate about uh, doing LPs of this type. Because I've got to remember shit. This was like such a problem in my Morrowind LP. Just remembering things. So, like, yeah, Half-Life's good and all. But, like, man, there's a lot of shit in there that like people don't even think about. Like, Half-Life's good, right? But talking to someone about Half-Life, in a sense of like, didn't this change, you know, the course of gaming forever? And the answer is yes, of course. But like, talking to someone who like, just played it, especially in the modern day, it's like, wow, great game, except for Zen, on a rail, uh, the other part of Zen, um, the final boss, the ending. Wow, this game sucks, you know? It doesn't suck. Uh Okay now did I make that mistake a second time? Because I turned on the fan. That was something I definitely did. Power generator that way. Power generator on. Please. I'm dumb and confused. Do not mock me. How you doing, Sarah? Oh, I am fantastic. Great, glad to hear. That's... I... I am surviving. I'm not exactly fantastic, but I am surviving, and I am enjoying my time with you. Can you drain all this shit from down here. I think this is a thing that'll kill you. Not anymore. Okay, maybe not. What am I missing? That way it leads back out. that on when you came? No, I turned it on. Hmm. I'm at a loss. I don't know what I've done wrong here. Maybe, maybe I'm just being punished for having a hundred gex songs stuck in my head. Or maybe it's this down here. Yes, of no, course. 
This is just a little hidey hole that you come when you can't remember the path forward. It's true. For when you're out of options. Thank you for carrying the LP, Alfred. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get me back when it comes time for you to play Half-Life 2 and you have to rely on my secondhand memories instead of your own. How do you feel about that, huh? I'd like to help you in any way I can. Damn it, why do I keep doing that? Who set up all those fucking trip mines? Really, what jackass? He left a handy staircase for us. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I, I spent some time googling Black Mesa Triathlon, Black Mesa Decathlon, Gordon Freeman Decathlon, etc. And I couldn't find anything about it. This um, is something that Freeman's mind made up that we thought was true. <sighs> Honestly, it might be. Uh, if I If I really, really, like can't find anything about it, I'll just go ask Reddit, like, did I Mandela myself, or is this real? But, like, I feel like there's definitely a mention of the triathlon or decathlon. What if it's original, and now you can use it? I mean, that'd be pretty funny. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alfred. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Just stay... stay Look at the power off. Okay. Track power. Okay. Alright. Over there, the thing is like... Sparking. Sparking. You're right. Quickly now. Right, that's what I came here for. Okay, so I need to power up the tram so I can plow through this little barricade here. That's currently my problem. Oh, look at that. Got a med kit, you really need it. That's one of my Maybe favorite things in Doom. If you get a med kit and you're at really low health, the game will mention that you really needed it. Maybe you're supposed to lure the big guy somewhere. Um. Maybe... Maybe he's supposed to to oh, make you know the circuit what? go. Maybe maybe you're honest about something. Where am I? Here I, I ask myself that every single day. God, he really barbecues you though. Alfred, am I a good addition to this playthrough? Yeah. I needed that. <laughs> oh man. Could struggle LPs be a genre in and of themselves? Struggle LPs? Yeah. LP in when you're just like, uh Half dead like you're like craving dopamine. Yeah. Serotonin. Honestly, you're just craving your brain to work right and uh Hoping the thing that usually makes you happy makes you as happy as it usually does. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, I didn't... I doubled back here when I didn't need to. I think that's my problem. That's the power. Okay, I've got it. Hey, I remember what it. I'm supposed to do. So we don't actually have the power to kill this guy on our own, as we've discussed and discovered. Could you? But we need to follow the signs that say power generator. This one's blocked, so we gotta find another way to it. And I'm thinking it's probably only past him, huh? Is there a way to kill this guy with just your firepower? I am curious. No. 
there are a few things in this game that are coded to not take damage from your weaponry. Oh, okay. So you can't, like, shoot down a helicopter with your pistol. Unfortunate. Oh god, Gordon. Well, we're definitely dead. So turning on the power idea. there will kill him. But we gotta get to a... him. You have to lure him somewhere else first. Hmm. The old standby doesn't work. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can just lure him over here. God damn it. Believe in you. I just need the health to tank some of the hits. So this is a real thing that you can do. If you crouch off of a thing, you won't take as much damage, and sometimes you might avoid taking full damage at all. Because that's what you would do, you know? You would I mean, gently that's what lower I do yourself. As a kid. What's up, babe? I said that's what I used to do as a kid. Yeah. And that's why I have such bad angles. I got bad knees. Get it big and ugly. Oh, he didn't like that. He got all he got all fiery on you. Yeah. God damn it. Seek medical attention. Warning. Vital signs critical. Hmm. Come between a rock and a hard place. You know. A maze of corridors and a big alien. Alright. Got the plan. Is there a door in this little hallway here? A door or a hidey place? Yeah, right there. Go, go, go. Maybe you could. Look. Okay, okay, it's time. There we go. Nice. All right. Now am I gonna? Boy, am I gonna fucking save that? I'm gonna hard save, in fact. Ooh, he's gonna hard save. So now we have the power on. I forgot about this whole sequence where you kill this thing. For some okay, so what you're supposed to do is take that train and just blow through the shit here. For whatever reason, my brain combined using the train to blow through him and the thing having a bad explosion animation. And and that was where I that was where I got. I didn't need to come up here. Anyway, now And then we leave that there. And then we turn the whole thing. And that'd probably be a good place to cut the episode, in fact. Hey! We did it! We thank did an episode! You. Thank, thank, thank you for standing by me while I am languishing. Of course. Uh, do you want to do the outro? Hey guys, it's been Gray, it's been Sarah, and we played Half Life. And I've been Alfred, and I played Half Life. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye.